Hi everyone, my name is Leanne Rimmel and I'm here to share with you some cool new things you can do with Flow in the Spring 20 release. We love using Flows to build automation and user experiences in our environments that help us do more faster. And one of the elements that I use a lot in Flows is Get Records. But now you can do even more with Get Records and get more fields from your records faster. So let's take a look at how you can do that. So we're starting off in our demo environment here and I'm looking at my opportunity because for this exercise, we're gonna be looking at how we can create a new project from an opportunity with a flow. So I do have projects related to my opportunities here and I wanna jump into flow and take a look at how I can do that with an action with the power of flow. So I'm gonna go into my flows and setup. And when I go take a look at my flows, I'm gonna start a brand new one. So let's go ahead and build a brand new flow. And what this flow is going to do is it's gonna give our users an interaction to create a new project. So that's going to be a screen flow. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my get records element onto the screen. And this is gonna be where a ton of the power happens. We're gonna be doing way more with this than we have in the past. So we're gonna call this get opportunity. And this is gonna be the element where we are, oops, if I can spell correctly. This is gonna be the element where we are bringing in all of the fields from the current opportunity we're working with and using those to populate certain key fields on the project. So the thing that I want to get is the opportunity object type. So we're gonna say get opportunity, select that uh, object type. I only wanna get one opportunity and that's gonna be the opportunity that I'm currently on with the action that we're gonna add. So we're gonna say get opportunity ID. We don't have a variable set for that yet. So we're gonna create a new variable. We're gonna say we want this new resource to be a variable. It's very important that we do a camel case record ID as our API name for how we want this action to work. So we're gonna say lowercase r record capital ID. And I always like to put descriptions in, even if you're the only admin in your org or this is in your dev org, it's really handy when you go back later to look at things you've built to know why did I add this here? And we're gonna store text and make it available for input. That's important as well. Now, when I click done, I've got that populated there. Awesome, record ID. We're gonna store just only the first record. And as we see how to store record data, we're going to automatically store all fields. Awesome, so let's click done. Now we wanna build that user interaction. What is it gonna look like when the user who's on the opportunity actually says, yes, I wanna create a new project? Because we did say this was a screen flow. So we'll call this screen the new project, screen. And this is going to be the window that are the screen that our user sees when they select that new project action we're going to create. So I'm only gonna bring a couple fields on so far. Um, first, I wanna bring on a date because we do need a start date. Um, that's the user is populating for the project. So we'll call that project start. Great. We'll just make that the date field type. Awesome. And we're also going to bring on a long text area. This is so our users can put in maybe the project description. Um, as you're doing this in your own environments with your own use cases, definitely you can add more fields here. Um, we're just going to do a couple right now to make it fast. And let's go ahead and go to our navigation, let's keep this nice and clean. We don't need the um, previous button or the pause button, this is kind of a single screen experience and we actually don't need a header. So we'll clean this up a little bit, make it really easy to interface with, awesome. So now that we've created that screen, let's go ahead and click done. So now we have our two elements. We're getting data from the opportunity. We said we were gonna get all the fields from the opportunity. And we also said, here's what our user interaction is gonna look like. We're gonna collect a couple key pieces of information from our user, but now we need to create the record. And this is where we're gonna see the power of this new feature. So we're gonna call this create project. And this is the element that will actually create that new project record. So we wanna create one and we need to make sure to select use separate resources in literal values. So this is because we're taking in information for this new project from a couple different places. So the new record type that we're creating is project. And let's go ahead and start to pick those values, those field values of this new record. So we'll say for project name, where do we want that to come from? What should that project name be? For right now, we're gonna make that project name the opportunity name. So I can see now I've got this new option, opportunity 
or get opportunity, and I've got every single field available to me from the opportunity record without having to create these additional variables and store them. So they're automatically stored for me within this flow. So I can access every field from the opportunity that we already pulled and that we're storing with that variable ID so I can bring in that opportunity name. We're also going to use that new get fields with a few other uh, fields to populate as well. So let's say we want to also bring in the account field from the opportunity. We're going to populate that using this um, record single variable here. So I'll just pull that in. Account ID, great. And let's also um, bring in another as well. So we can go in and say opportunity on the project should be the same as the opportunity ID um, from the opportunity itself. Awesome. So now I've selected three different fields that I'm going to be bringing in from that opportunity that were just already saved for me here in that get from that get records element. And I can also add some additional fields as well. So let's bring in some other fields from the screen that we've created because those variables are stored too. So we'll go ahead and say, let's make sure that our start date on our new project is populated from that screen component start date field that we drag onto our screen. And also let's bring in that project description um, to populate the project description field. So awesome. So now I've got five different fields that are going to be populating. Three of those are from that uh, opportunity, that get opportunity element, and two are from the screen. So let's go ahead and say done here. Awesome. So now let's connect our screen to our create records. And so now we've got everything co connected. We've identified our start and we'll go ahead and save our flow right from here. Um, again, always great to name this in a way that makes a lot of sense to you. So when you come back later, you know exactly what you were doing. And let's save this and we're going to go ahead and activate it right from here. So let's click activate so that we can start adding it to our page. So this flow is active. Uh, we've saved it. And let's go back into our opportunity. So how do we put it on the opportunity page? Well, we're going to go into edit object in order to create the action so we can add this to our actions. So on the object manager, the object schema page for the opportunity, I can go into buttons, links, and actions, and I can create a brand new action of the type flow. So because this is a screen flow and because it's active, it'll be available. So if you're going through this step and you can't find the flow that you just created, make sure that it's a screen flow and make sure that it's been activated. We're going to just call this new project, very creative name here. So we've called it new project. We're going to go ahead and save. And once we've created it, we've got one more step. We need to add it to the page layout so that it's part of the list of actions that are available for that opportunity. So we can click right into page layout. And in page layout, I'm going to go to my opportunity layout because I know that's the one I'm working with. And we've got our section for mobile and lightning actions. So now I've got a new option um, on the top panel here for new project. And I can drag that down. And then let's put it near the front here. Um, and I can drag that down, quick save it. And then let's go back to our opportunity page and refresh it. And on the top right, we should see our new project awesome action. So now when I click on that, I can access that screen flow. I can put in my field information, like what the start date is of this project and what the description is. And when I click next, we'll just call this yay, our brand new project. Um, and when I click next, then I will be able to see this on that related list and check out my brand new project that was created using the power of flow so fast. So now I've got my Mary's Gourmet Intro Food Package because we did say we're going to use the same name as Opportunity. And there we go. We've got those fields populated from the screen and from the Opportunity just in a few clicks. I hope you're all excited to build more flows faster and to share those flows with us. And it's Spring 20 release, so it's time to learn more about everything coming in the Spring 20 release. And you can do that by following our trail mix URLs at the bottom of the screen and joining along as we go through tons of great features and content in the Spring release and how you can get hands on. So I hope to see you there. Let us know how you like it, and I will see you next time. Bye.